Hey guys, welcome. This is Valerie from Victory Yoga. And today we are working on Hanumanasana, which are the splits. So it's a short flow mostly uh, around the hips, the hamstring, flexibility, a little bit of strain. Um, so if you are joining today, make sure if you have blocks at home, two blocks would be handy. Um, and a strap. If you do not have a strap, you can use a bell. If you do not have blocks, you can use books. Or I will give some variation, having the fingertips on the floor instead. Um, so when you're ready, uh, just make yourself into a sitting position. Shoulders are back and down. Back is straight and closing the eyes. Just taking four deep breath in and out through your nose here. Just allowing yourself to center. Deep breath in, allowing yourself to arrive in the present moment. Two more, and staying focused here. If your mind start to wander, come back to your breath. Your last one, and if you would like to set an intention for today's practice. You can do it now. It's a good time to do it. And slowly opening the eyes. We're going to extend the left leg in front of us. Keep the right knee bent. So we, if you have tight hips, you might want to sit onto a block here. If you're happy here, as we inhale, we're going to bring the hands up. Finding a gentle fall forward here, grabbing either the outside of your leg, your knee, your foot. If you've got your strap, you might want to be uh, grabbing your, your strap around your foot to help you pull really gently. We're just a uh, gentle stretch to start because we're not warm yet. And just staying here for a few breaths. Inhaling. Keep either your, your hands into look around your foot or your legs. Can you halfway lift to lengthen your spine and then release a bit lower? Do that once more. Inhale, lift your heart, straighten your back, and slowly release. Next inhale, we're coming all the way up. Bring your left hand up and over behind the leg that is extended. Fingertips toward the back. Ground your right foot on the floor. Point your left toes. Lift your hips as you reach your right hand toward the back of your mat. Keep your hips high. Lift your right heel off the mat. One more breath in here. And slowly releasing down onto the floor. We're going to go straight towards the other side to so release the leg, maybe shake them a little bit. Then we extend the right leg, bend the left foot, straight back, hands up with the inhale, and finding your fall forward, releasing, grabbing the outside of your foot maybe. And same principle here, we want to inhale, lengthen the spine, tuck your navel in as you release to the floor. And coming uh, halfway lift with the inhale again and slowly relaxing. Got one more breath in here. And we're going to find our wild thing again as the inhale coming up. Right hand circle back onto the floor behind your back. Ground the left foot and lift up hips as high as possible as you reach the left hand back. Come onto your tippy toes with your left foot. And last round of breath here, slowly releasing down. Beautiful. And then release, maybe shake your legs a little bit, move your knees left and right. We're gonna find our tabletop here so you can cross your legs, shift your weight forward onto your R4. A few series of cats and cows here, dropping your belly down, lifting your heart, gazing high. As you exhale, rotate your navel towards your spine, shoulder blades to sky, chin to chest. And again, breathing in and release. Last round. If you want to bring any kind of variation, feel free to do so. And coming back to a neutral spine, as we inhale, we're going to lengthen our spine. As we exhale, drop the hips toward one side of your mat as you gaze back towards your heel. Inhaling to center and do the opposite side. One more on each side. Feeling the stretch on the side of your hips. And last round. Coming back to center. 
As we next inhale, raise the right leg off the mat and tag your curl in once with the exhale, forehead towards your knee. And extend back. This time as we exhale, we're going to drop the right foot on the outside of your right hand. Final runner's lunge with the inhale, kind of like soaking your hips, lifting your heart. It's not runner's lunge, sorry. Low lunge. And extend the left, right leg back. And onto the floor. Left leg goes up with the next inhale. We go to the opposite side. Tag your curl in once. And extend back. And left foot on the outside of your left hand. And soak your hips low. Open your heart. Roll the shoulders back. And left leg back. And release onto the floor. Find a quick child pose with your knees in. Relax your forehead down. One more breath. And find your downward dog from here. Come onto your hands, tuck your toes, lift your sitting bones. Downward dog. Few deep breaths in here. Maybe start move, bending one knee at a time. Maybe stillness is better. Next exhale, we're going to start walking our hands towards our feet to find our fall forward. Now, we invite you to bend your knees as much as you need so your chest is touching your lap. Roll your arms behind your calf. And then from here, grab the back of your ankle with your hands. Can you start extending your legs to lift your sitting bones towards the sky? Deepen the stretch in the hamstring and the back of your shoulders. Release into your fold and do that once more. Grab your ankle, extend your legs. And release. Well done. Half we lift with the inhale. Relax with the exhale. We do that once more. Half we lift straight spine, top of the crown towards the front of your mat. And release. Next inhale, make your way to standing and roll your back. Come up. Hands goes up. Join your palms together. And hands in front of your heart. Start moving through our floor. Inhaling, hands goes up. Find your fall forward with the exhale. Halfway lift. Now keep your heels on the floor as you start walking your hands towards your downward dog, towards the front of your mat. Take one deep breath in here. As you exhale, rock forward into your plank. Feel free to drop your knees onto the floor for the first chaturanga all the way down to the floor. One baby cobra with the inhale. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest up, squeeze your elbows behind your back. And release down with the exhale. Fingertips onto the floor, wider than your mat. Elbows high, lift up with the inhale. As you exhale, left shoulder towards the floor, gaze back. And inhale, lifting up. Right shoulders towards the floor, gaze back. And coming back up with the inhale. Release onto the floor with the exhale. Bring your hands in for one upward dog. Press the hands against the floor, roll your shoulders back and lift your hips high to your downward dog. Deep breath in here. As you exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, step, jump or float towards the front. Halfway lift with the inhale and relax. Uttanasana, coming to standing and remove to your second round of sun salutation with the exhale. Find your fall down. Halfway lift. Plant your palms, step, jump or flow back, chaturanga. Upward dog with the inhale. And downward dog. Take three deep breaths here. Lifting your sitting bones high. Shoulders away from your ears. Next, exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, step, jump or flow towards the front. Halfway lift, release down. Coming all the way up to standing and hands in front of your heart, Sana City. Take 
when you're ready, we're going to move through our flow, inhaling hands up. We meet into our downward dog. If you know where you're going, you can just go at your own pace, fall forward. And halfway lift, plant step, jump and back or float. Chaturanga. Upward dog. And downward dog. Inhaling, right leg goes up towards the sky. Open your hips as you bend your knees and find your hip yawn. If you want to flip your dog into your wild thing, gently drop your foot behind you in control. Reach your right hand towards the front of your mat. Keep extending your fingertips. Come back into your three-legged dog. So right leg goes up. Target curl in knee towards your chest. And going back up with the inhale. Right knee to right elbow. And back up. Right knee to left elbow. And back up. Right knee, be, sorry, right foot behind your hands. Lift up into your high lunge in control. And square the hips, back heel is off the floor. Extend the elbows, pinkies in. Reach high with your hands. Now very slowly, you can bring your hands onto the floor if you want. If not, start bending to bring your back knee onto the floor. Find your low lunge. Take one inhale in here. As you exhale, hands onto the floor, nature out of your hips. Shift your weight back into your half split. Front leg extended, toes towards you. And go into your low lunge again. Ujjayanasana, shift your weight forward. Soak your hips. Lift your hands. And release back again into your half split. You're going to do that once more. Shift your weight forward. Lifting up. And half split, and this time we're going to stay into our half split, releasing down toes towards you. Make sure your hips are square towards the front. One more breath. And start walking your hands towards the front. Shift your weight forward, bend the front knee, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Runner's lunge, you can be on your tip of your fingers or hands on the block if you want to. As we exhale, we're going to bring the back foot a bit closer. Find your pyramid pose. Extend the front leg completely. And then drop your head down. Halfway lift. And relax down. Gazing towards your right knee. Last one, halfway lift. And relax. Plant your palms onto the floor. Find your runner's lunge again and bring the right leg up towards the sky to your three-legged dog. Find your vinyasa, three-leg plank or plank, lower down, chaturanga, upward down, and downward down. We're going straight towards the other side. As we inhale, raise the left leg up towards the sky and find your hip yawn, bend your left knee, square your shoulder towards the back. If you want to find your wild thing, drop the foot behind you in control. Lift your chest and your hip. Reach towards, reach towards the front of your mat. Back into your three-legged door, left leg up. Tag your curl in once, knee towards your chest. And going back up. And twice, left knee to left elbow. Maybe a bit higher towards your armpit. And last round, we're going to bring the left knee to your right elbow. And back up. And we're finding our high lunge with the next exhale. Drop the foot down and lift up. Square the hips, hands are high. Try to bring your rib cage in to protect your lower back. One more breath. Now, if you want to, you can bring your hands onto the floor on each side of your front foot. If you're happy to stay here, start bending to bring your back knee onto the floor. Low lunge, Ujjayani Asana. Exhale, hands on each side of your hips. Shift your weight back into your half split. And back into your low lunge. And release, shift back. We do that once more, inhaling, high, low lunge. Maybe a little arch of the back and release down and hold your, hold your half split here. 
Flex your left toes and release. Find a half we lift, extend your spine. Release with the exhale. Maybe another one, half we lift. And release. Shift your weight forward, hands onto the floor, fingertips on the floor, find your runner's lunge, tuck your back toes. Now from here, can you bring your back foot a bit closer to find your pyramid pose? Hips are square, release the head down, half we lift again. And relax. Your choice if you want to stay here or find another half we lift. Plant your palm, your runners launch again. Left leg goes high. And find your vinyasa. Blow yourself down. Upward dog. And downward dog. From your downward dog, I invite you to bring your knees wide onto the floor. About mat wide. Untuck your toes, big toes touching your wide leg child pose. Forehead down, release onto your heels. Very slowly from here, start making your way back up. Take your time. Tuck your toes, lift your sitting bones, downward dog. And inhale, raise the right leg up towards the sky. Tag your curl in, drop the foot between your hands. And we come to standing with both leg extended. So coming all the way up. Making sure your hips are square towards the front, so backwards about 45 degree angle. Hands goes high. As we exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Now we're going to find either a prayer position behind our back. If you don't have the shoulder flexibility, maybe grab the outside of your elbows. And if that's not possible, you can just interlock the fingers. Now find your favorite variation. When you're ready, inhaling, bring your chest up. As you exhale, lengthen your spine, top of the crown towards the front, and find your fall forward here, all the way down to the floor. We're gazing towards your right knee again. Take a few deep breaths in here and release. Every exhale, you can try to pull your chest closer to your leg. And lifting up with the next inhale, keep your hands interlock as we come all the way up, twisting towards the back of your mat. We adjust your feet if you need to, extend your chest, and as we breathe out, we lower yourself down towards the other leg. And breathe and relax and let go. And slowly coming all the way up. Coming back towards the front. Take a step to, to come standing at the front of your mat. And then we release the hands up. And find your fall forward. Moving to our floor, meet me into downward dog. Halfway lift, plant your palm step or jump back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. And downward dog. Moving to our floor with some small variation. Inhaling, right leg goes up, bend your knee, open your hips, maybe a quick wild thing if you want. Still in control. And, and back into your three-legged dog, right leg up. Tag your curl in once. And back up. Find your lunge, tag your curl in, drop the foot between your hands and lift up with the inhale. Hands eye. Maybe a little arch. As we exhale, how arrow head. So bring the top of the crown towards the front as you bring the hands swiping close to the floor, palms facing down, reach the hands back. And coming back with the inhale, lifting up. We do that once more. Arrow head. Little tuck of the chin to lengthen the back of your neck. And back up. From here, find your low lunge, dropping the back knee down, on top your toes, half split, hands comes down, and shift your weight back. Low lunge with the inhale, and half split with the exhale. Low lunge one more time, we hold it here. 
If you want to, you can bring your left hand onto the floor, fingertips on the floor or hand on the block. Bring the right hand towards the back, reach back. Now you can bend the back foot, left foot, and see if you can grab the top of your foot with your hand. Now you might not reach, but that's fine. You can still, if you can't reach, just bend the knee a bit and gaze back. And then slowly releasing the left foot, bring the right hand all the way up and over in the inside of your right foot. And find a quick lizard lunge here. So maybe coming onto your forearm if that's okay. Preparing our hip for our full split variation. Last round of breath here. And then coming back onto our hands. One hand on each side of your right foot. Shift back into your half split. And this is where if you want to go into your full split variation, you want, might want to have your blocks on each side of your hips. And perhaps you want to start extending the right leg forward, left leg back. And see if you can find your full split variation. Now the blocks are on each side of our hips to make sure our shoulders are in line with our hips. And that they're not forward, so we're not crunching down. Once you're to, into your split, you're more than welcome to stay into your half split. Maybe you want to bounce up and down or move left and right to create space. Every exhale, you can try to release. You might want to close your eyes to relax a little bit more into that stretch. Last round of breath here. Then slowly we're going to shift our weight back as we bring the front leg towards us and find a kneeling position here. Slowly resting our hips down, closing the eyes. This is just allowing ourselves to refocus on our hips. Allowing our hips to reset. And then slowly, when you're ready, open the eyes. You might want to remove the blocks and have it handy at the front of your mat if you need them. And then we find our downward dog again. We're going to go to the same floor with the left, legs, this left leg this time. So before we go, we might want to notice how your right, right leg feels compared to the left leg. And then the left leg goes high, bend the knee, find your hip yawn, or maybe another wild thing. Reaching the left hand forward, hips high. Coming back into your tree like a dog, we tag a curl in once, knee towards your chest. And up. And tag a curl again. Drop the foot between your hands. Find your high lunge with the inhale. And an arrowhead with the exhale. Top of the crown towards the front. Lean as you bring your hands back. And inhale again. We'll do that once more. Little arch maybe if you want. And hands back. And last one, going up. And lower down, in control. Beautiful. Now from here, shift your weight back, half split. And forward again. Lower down into Ujjayana Asana. And release back. And this time, we're going to hold Ujjayana Asana. Low lunge. If you want to, right hand onto the floor on the inside of your left foot as you bring the left hand back. Maybe grabbing the top of your foot. You might want to even use a strap around your foot if you can't reach the back foot. Gazing back and hold here for three breaths. Slowly releasing the foot, circle your hand towards the front. Find a quick lizard lunge, a both hand in the inside of your left foot. Lower yourself down onto your forearm. Coming 
coming back onto your hands. We're preparing for a full split. So either shift your weight back, find another half split here and release your head down. If you want to grab your block to prepare for the full variation, one block on each side of your hips. We extend the front leg a bit further forward as we bring the, the right leg back and lower yourself down. Now, same principle here. You might want to have the block on the higher side if you need to. Now, maybe you want to bounce a bit up and down. Maybe you want to move your hips left, right. And maybe having just the fingertips if you're close to the floor. Trying to keep the shoulders and the hips in a straight line so you're not kind of like crunching down. And then slowly coming back, left foot towards you, and find a kneeling position. From here, we're going to find our cow face pose. So we just make our way to a sitting pose. We're going to bend the right leg and bring the foot close to our hip bone and do the left leg. And you can either bring the left leg on top with the foot on top, or if you can bring the knees close to each other and bring both heel close to your bum, as long as both sitting bones are touching the floor, right? Lift your left hand up towards the sky, bend the elbow and grab your elbow with your hand. Now, again, you can either stay here. If you are used to full variation, you might want to bring one hand behind your back and see if you can interlock your fingers behind your back. Now, this is um, from the back. This is what it looks like. So you are having a hold of your fingers. Now, if you cannot reach for your fingertips, you might want to bring your strap and you can grab a hold. And with every exhale, you might want to try to walk your hand closer to each other. Or if you do not have a strap, you just stay in the first variation, which was grabbing your elbow. Now we stay here for one more breath. And then we're slowly releasing the shoulders. Keep the legs interlocked, maybe move your shoulders a bit. Take a deep breath in, fingertips on the floor in front of you. As you exhale, start folding forward, coming all the way down to the floor. And release. Coming back up with the inhale, we're going to release the legs, maybe shake them a little bit, and we go towards the other side. So this time the left leg goes on, on uh, underneath, bring the right leg over, either foot on the floor, or bring the knees in a straight line as close as possible to each other. When you're ready, right, leg, right arm goes up towards the sky, bend the elbow and grab your elbow with your left hand. Find your favorite variation. If you want to find your lock behind, you are more than welcome to do so. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, slowly release the hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine, fingertips on the floor, and find your full forward. Coming back up towards the center, lean back a bit, release the legs, and then maybe move them a little bit to release. And we find our laying down position onto our back. So you might want to rock back and forth a few times, or if not, just release onto you, your back, knees to chest. Maybe rock left and right. Circle the knees. And then drop the feet down onto the floor. We're preparing for our bridge pose. So your favorite variation of bridge. We're going to have two rounds of bridge. When you're ready, inhaling, lift your hips high. Now, if you have a block, I invite you to place the block between your knees and squeeze the block in. Can you interlock your hands behind your back? Roll your shoulders under. Back of the neck is long. Can you bring your hips a bit higher? If you want to, keep squeezing the knees. Can you lift onto the tip of your toes? One more breath. 
And then slowly releasing the heel, releasing the hands, the shoulders, and come all the way down to the floor. Join the sole of your feet together, release the block, find your reclined butterfly. Arms wide, take three deep breaths here. And draw the knees back in. We're going to go a second round. So again, I invite you to take a block. This time we're going to go into a restorative bridge. So lift your hips high and you can place the block onto your lower back, either on the lower side or the higher side. We're going to either keep the knees bent or extend them about mat wide a bit into a Shavasana. The arms can be wide or over your head. And just staying here for a few breaths. Now, if you do not have a block at home, you, put, you can place a bolster or a cushion or a blanket just to have the hips a bit higher than the rest of your body. And slowly, we're going to release the block. And release the hips down, move the block to the side, knees to chest. If you'd like to take one twist on each side before we finish into a Shavasana, you can. If you want to go straight into your Shavasana, you're also welcome to. I invite you to bring the left leg over the right leg, crossing the legs, shuffle your hips towards the left side of your mat as you drop the legs towards the right side. Open your arms and gaze towards your left hand. Find your twist here, maybe closing the eyes. Come back towards the center, we're going straight towards the other side. So this time shuffle the hips towards the right side as you cross the right leg over the left and drop the knees towards the left side, gaze over your right hand. And come back towards the center, knees to chest. Give yourself a hug, maybe forehead to your knees. And find a Shavasana here. Extend the legs about mat wide. Hands on each of your body palms facing up. Close the eyes and relax here for a few minutes. Try to stay completely still. Try to resist the temptation to move wiggle or scratch or anything.
very slowly bring the awareness back into your body. With your fingers, your toes, your wrist, your ankle, maybe move your head. And we find our way into sitting pose. Maybe you want to have a little stretch before. Maybe rolling onto one side and slowly start making your way to sitting. Keeping your back straight. You can keep your eyes closed if you feel comfortable doing so. Two deep breath in and out through your nose. Bring your hands on front of your heart center. Gently bow your head down to invite gratitude into your morning, into your day. Saying thank you to yourself for showing up today, to your body, your mind, your spirit, to Mother Nature. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. I hope you enjoyed this flow. Uh, make sure you drink plenty of water and then you go for a little walk to give your hips a little uh, rest. Uh, if you enjoyed the flow, uh, please uh, write me a comment below, like and subscribe, and uh, stay in touch. There will be uh, more flow coming your way. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.